Hey everyone, it's Ryan Grimes here from My ITND. So this month's theme about videos is all about AI. Uh, today's video is specifically about the, w the way to use AI and when you should use AI. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so I've actually done some recent speaking on AI, specifically for business case use. So when you use AI, one of the warnings we always give people is that you still need to be the subject matter expert. You're like, I know computers and I know, I know and I know business pretty well. I would not use AI to figure out how to build a cabin or to, to mount cabinets on the wall or to become a software developer or to become anything that I'm not because I don't know if the information is giving me is right or wrong or if it's been biased or if it has if it's even accurate. Like I just don't know those things because I'm not a subject matter expert. As a small business owner, I'm constantly being uh, asked to do a million tiny little tasks that take up a lot of time, like crafting an email with a specific message, or writing an RFP, or re uh, re request for a proposal, or coming up with data from, ex uh, from an Excel spreadsheet, or looking over some financial information. So AI can really help with a lot of those things that absolutely suck to give a lot of your time to. You can use it to enhance and to make faster the things you don't like doing already. For instance, if you have to write an email to somebody that you know, like a job offer, you could literally have AI or Copilot or one of those other ones write the entire email for you, tweak it a little bit with your wording, and then send it. Something that would have taken you 30 minutes takes you five. Lots of little tiny improvements in your life and your operations can make a huge difference overall but you have to know when to use AI. And this series of videos is gonna be all about how and when and what to use with AI. So this is Ryan Grimes from My ITN. 